Look, there she is. Emil has been waiting for this moment for more than 60 years. He's meeting his sister again on the island of La Réunion, the place where he was born. How are you, my dear? It was. It's a pleasure. When Emi was a child, the authorities took him away from his family and sent him to children's homes, a fate shared by 2,000 children in the 1960s to 80s. They were promised a bright future, but it was the start of a long and painful journey. Marie-Jo is the driving force. She's insistent Emile Warot must find his roots. Let's take another look at our file. He's been living in France since he was 18. He's always tried to suppress memories of his youth, until he met Marie-Jo a few years ago. I've written all these letters. I want him to be happy. I've often heard about children searching for their roots. I'd have done the same. You want to know where you're from too, don't you? Yes. Even if you don't say it like that. They treated us like idiots and criminals and just made decisions for us. Here it says social services came to collect him. You were nine years old. Apparently your mother agreed, but she only signed with a fingerprint. That could have been someone else's. After months of research, Marie-Jo found Emile's sister Marie-Thérèse. He now talks to her every day. I really missed him. It's time for him to come back. The same blood flows through our veins. <laughs> yes, I agree. Mm -hmm. It's finally time to go. Emile hasn't slept for the past three nights. I'm afraid to rediscover a family that I don't really know. This trip will help him reclaim a piece of his identity. His life. It's not just about the people. This is the first time that Emile is taking a flight since he left the island of La Réunion almost 60 years ago. After all this time, the 76-year-old wants to hug his big sister again. Look, there she is. How are you, my dear? Good, and you? It's so wonderful to see you. Did you think you'd ever see your brother again? No. No. I looked for him, but I couldn't find him. I thought he was dead. Just like mother, father and my other brother. Emile seems to be settling in. They're driving to Marie-Thérèse's apartment. Merci. <laughs> the extended family is arriving too. Marie-Thérèse has nearly 30 children and grandchildren. It must be amazing to rediscover a family you thought you'd lost. I thought, why come back? I don't have any family here. You've got one here. I've got one here. <laughs> Marie-Thérèse and one of her daughters have prepared some traditional local dishes, especially for Emile. Does it bring back memories? For sure. They used to sell it on the beach. But it's not all plain sailing for Emile. Family relations are strained, mainly between Marie-Thérèse and her younger sister Jeannette. Emile hasn't so far managed to get in touch with her. I came to see my sister Marie-Thérèse. But not just that. I also want to see my other sister. It's a chance to open a door that was shut for a long time and reconcile the family. 
pouvaient se reconstruire en famille. But first, they go to a children's home where Emile was taken at the age of nine. At the time, the colonial power of France was afraid that high birth rates on La Réunion could result in rebellion and eventually the island's independence. Children were removed from poor families and promised a good education, which most never received. They've maintained the village with its traditional houses. The children's home is in Elbourg, which literally means hell town. The entrance to the children's home was here. Emile and about 60 children were kept here for years. Wow. The building has since been abandoned. Ah, oui. It was a house of slavery. They find a way in. Emile shows us where the dormitories and toilets used to be. Les toilettes, ils étaient là comme ça. Sometimes I was bleeding all over, beaten black and blue, but I didn't care. I said to them, do what you want. My body was worth nothing to me. I didn't deserve to be alive. It wasn't until later that I asked myself, why was I treated that way? I didn't do anything. I wasn't a thief or a murderer. Over all these years, Emile has never really left this place behind. I couldn't forget all this because I always thought maybe I just imagined it. But now I'm here. I know it wasn't just a bad dream. We suffered here. And because I've seen it all again, I can finally forget it. It's all in the past now. The next day, they want to visit their father's final resting place, a mass grave. But the cemetery caretaker says there is no longer a record of the site. I don't know. If you don't even know where he's buried, how are we supposed to find his gravestone? When his father died in 1952, the family fell apart. There was no welfare back then. Our mother didn't have the money to look after us and handed us children over to various relatives. Emile, seven years old at the time, went to live with a neighbor. Then the state intervened under unclear circumstances. Emile spent 10 years in children's homes in France too. He was discharged from state care at the age of 20, but things weren't about to get any easier. My life was hellish, even after the time spent in the homes. No one wanted to give me a job in France because of my dark skin. Eventually, he was able to set himself up as a self-employed craftsman. He harbors no resentment towards his parents. In honor of you, my dear father, I place these flowers. It's sad. None of it was his fault. Emile and Marie-Jo are on the way to see Emile's little sister Jeannette with a sense of unease. We wrote her a letter, but she didn't respond. We're just going to see her. I'd like to see her again after all this time. She's a part of your life. We let the two of them go in alone, so as not to get in the way. Emile introduces himself by his childhood name, Yves. Emile was a name given to him in France. Hello, is anyone here? 
Are you Jeanette? Yes, that's me. I'm Eve. Your brother. Do you remember him? Oh, let me kiss you both. Yes. <laughs> Jeanette didn't answer because she can barely write. <laughs> His little sister. Yes, my little sister. But she's never forgotten her brother. I named my son, Eve, after the brother I lost. That couldn't replace my brother. But, but it was a way to remind you of me. Yes. <laughs> It's been so long since you saw your brother. What would you like to say to him? That I love him. He's the only brother I have left. I rediscovered life. I was dead without my family. When you find it again, it gives you a new lease on life. I feel younger after today. <laughs> Come, let's sit down. How beautiful that is. Let's sit down for five minutes and enjoy the sea. It was great for me to meet one sister, but to find both of them again, that's everything I could have hoped for. I feel good. I rediscovered my homeland. And you return? Yes. Maybe to live out my final years here. He hopes the whole family can then be persuaded to set aside their differences and reconcile. <laughs>